really gone? Was it really here? again real soon. Bummer! Man, I almost reached level seven. Hey, wait a minute. Felix is always good for a loan. Yeah. I'll borrow a buck and then bingo, back in business. <laughs> Look out, Dementoid. Your doom awaits. Play Dementor Terror, new from Megacore, and you'll be the mighty one. The world has need of you. Virgil? What are you doing in a computer game? Waiting for you, as usual. Now hurry and use the portal by elevator six. But, but I've got a date with a Dementoid. That is merely a game. This threat is reality. Or what's left of it. <sighs> All right. Well, at least I don't need 50 cents to be the mighty one. Thanks. Is this your pom pom? <laughs> Mighty one, over here. Cool seats, Verge. Season tickets? Hey, what's the story? This is. Whoa. That looks just like a Dementoid. Yes, well, whatever it is, it temporarily digitized solid matter, disrupting the very nature of reality. Hence my urgent message on that, um, game. How'd you do that, anyway? Oh, don't tell me there were ancient Lemurian video games. Hardly. And if you'd studied Lemurian calculus instead of playing those childish games, you'd know the destiny square times the value of X. Hey, hey, Verge, 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 the world won't end if I don't know what X equals. Besides, computer games train your reflexes and help you master strategy, huh? Skills a world saver like myself needs. You will need all your skills and more to meet this challenge, mighty one. Oh, such a primitive game. I like it, but it'd be better with swords. Mega thinks he can steal the Mentoids from me, does he? He doesn't compute who or what he's dealing with. After they made me, they reformatted the disk. Welcome to JC Mega's personal Mega Core database. Please enter your access code. I am sorry, that is not an authorized code. You are an illegal hacker. Please turn yourself in to the nearest police station and have a nice day. Core head seam chip. It's the only thing that will give me enough power to control my virus. The Cyber Skull Virus. There it is. Megacore World Headquarters. You know, I just have a hunch that Fog Beast has something to do with Megacore. I've run a regression analysis of the variables and concluded that that is an acceptable possibility. In other words, you're right. Man, I wish I had the pocket protector concession in this place. Wow, you must be here to advertise Warrior Wars. I don't do public appearances. Hey, uh, anybody here create the Mentoids? I did! Whoa, it's the Nerd King. I'm JC Mega, the Mega in Mega Core. 
I create really neat games. You dirty liar. I created some end toys. You stole it from me, Mega. I'm gonna delete you for that. And your own Hexium chip is gonna help me do it. Guards! Arrest that human glitch! Human? Not quite. Cool! It's a hologram! <gasps> Marvelous! I must have that program! Wrong! The program must have you! What's happening to me, Kurt? I am no longer Marlin Kurt! I am Cybersco! There's a nerd packing a major toot. This creature is changing reality itself. We must stop him. How? Who can find a hologram? I'm game. A little rough out there, Normie? He's good. And that's bad. His electrons have now gained critical mass. He can control all matter. Ah! Now they're really into computers. And so will you be once you get with the program. Think we can take these guys, Norman? Not a problem. Maybe a little problem. Are we losing? Nerds program. I am not a nerd. I am Cyber Scout. Thank you, Mighty One. One more second, and I would have been an electric chicken. Yes, electric fowl, actually. Oh, the virus is replicating. I am no longer a man. I'm a god. A digital god. Oh, please. Get a grip on reality, Pixel Puss. That's just what I plan to do. <laughs> Is he here? No, he's there. Apparently, he's everywhere. And in Paris, an incredible creature has completely transformed the Arc de Triomphe. Tonight on the evening news, a digitized madman has attacked London. New York, an electronic terrorist has turned the Empire State Building into a computer image. Of course! He's entered the world's computer networks. He, he can go everywhere, boom, at the speed of light. Ah, using the Lemurian probability theorem, I've pinpointed his next destination. We have just minutes to get there. Yeah, but what do we do when we get there? That, mighty one, is up to you. Then, using the match probability theorem, I'd say we're in big trouble. Oh, 
Virgil, you gotta do something about these portals. Oh dear, the White House Rose Garden. From the looks of things, we're too late. Did you say Rose Garden? Really, mighty one, we have more important things to do than pick tulips. A tulip in a rose garden, Virgil. A tulip in a rose garden. I fail to understand. Oh dear, the Secret Service. Uh, no, no, Norm, Norman, Norman, dismembering Secret Service agents is a bad career move. It's all right. Trust me. Whoever said two heads are better than one never saw this creep. Virgil, a portal would be nice. I agree. Let me see. Ah, aha. follow me. Does our government know about that portal? It would appear that Cyberskull has already been here, too. According to my calculations, Cyberskull will be able to infect the whole world with his computer virus in less than three hours. Time is of the essence. French fries? Here? <gasps> of course! First the tulip, then the fries. Now I get it. Oh, really, Mighty One, your fascination with meaningless objects is quite inappropriate. I'll explain later. Now I know where to find Cyber Skull. But how? You need advanced Lemurian calculus to compute the probabilities. No, but I may need 50 cents and a portal to... level. I haven't made it to level 7 of Dementoids yet, but here is where the final battle with the big Ultra Dementoid takes place. Big? How big? That big. The world belongs to Cyber Skull. No, it doesn't. This world belongs to the best player. And I am that guy. Let's go play Dementoids. Give me 50 cents, Virgil. Uh, don't you need yen? I just happen to have... Uh... It's Norman. In the game! It's okay, Virgil. This is level six. Norman's my player. Norman! Eat these! But I don't like French for yeah. No ketchup. Why must he eat those dreadful fried things? I know what I'm doing, and it's a lot more useful than your Lemurian calculus. Yes! I knew it! On this level, the fries give him strength! I fought this dude before. Fast versus cheating. In my world, you play by my rules. Quick, Norman, smell it. Oh, really? This is too much. Virgil, the French fries and the tulip are power tokens in the Dementoid's computer game. They'll give Norman the power he needs to fight Cyber Skull. Oh. Thanks. I needed that. You can't defeat me. I created this game. We've lost Norman. No way. I still got a trick or two up my sleeve. The secret bird? No one's supposed to know about the secret bird. I'll 
Don't get a clue, Phosphor Face. Even an eight-year-old knows about the secret bird. <laughs> As programmers go, you are uh, only average. Only average? Only average? I'll show you. Welcome to level eight. Level eight? There is no level eight. There is now. <laughs> Virgil, you have to play now. You have to play, but I don't know how. was worth every yen. You know, you were right, Burge. The world might have ended if we didn't know what X equaled. And game-playing skill is indeed valuable, as long as it doesn't become an obsession. Yeah, I guess so. You coming, mm. Virgil? Yes, yes, I'll be there. In a minute. <laughs> this is the guy who said video games were a waste of time. Wait! I was just achieving proficiency! Oh, hi. Hey, did you know that the first computer for commercial use was invented in 1951? Univac, as it was called, took up a whole room. Well, today's tiny computers can process the very same information in a billionth of a second. Oh, man, things have really advanced. Operator error. Please read instructions, you doofus. Ah, uh, maybe a little too much. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> 